Well, howdy out there, vinyl aficionados. <clears throat> How's everyone in the uh, collection world and the YouTube? I'm here to do a vinyl update. Sorry I'm out of breath, but I've been trying to get my stuff together here for this video and position myself just right so I'm not uh, uncomfortable the whole time. Because you know that does happen. Um, got some stuff to show here, obviously, that I've been picking up from the usual places, more or less. I uh, hope everyone had a good record store day. That's been over now for about, what, a week or so? And, um, haven't really done any record shopping since then, other than some stuff at a thrift store. Um. Uh, <clears throat> as far as records, been to a few thrift stores, but uh, um, I don't have anything coming up um, out of the ordinary, um, record-wise. Uh, i got a couple concerts coming up this summer, uh, one at the end of this month, um, this is April still, and then one later on in the summer. Um, going to try to cut back on my spending, which I've said that so many times and not been able to do that because, you know, I keep seeing things that I want and uh, need. Anyway, to stop uh, yakking, I'll show you some of the stuff that I picked up recently. The uh, new issue of Mad Magazine, right cheer. This is the June... 2019 issue and um, I think I have this is number seven by the way so I think I've pretty much kept up on those since they've rebooted uh, some records or some records uh, a couple that I things that I found in um, clearance section this is called uh, a guide to bizarre macabre and just plain weird sites weird Europe uh, this book was $3, so totally worth that. And then this, uh, don't laugh, you can help it, but this magazine was only 50 cents, and some people say I might have got ripped off. The normal price would have been eleven ninety nine. It's People's uh, Collector Special of Totally Twilight. And it has pretty much a profile of every character. Uh, it goes through... The whole kit and caboodle there of every movie. And for 50 cents, you know, it's not like I'm losing anything. But I like Twilight. I've said that before. Uh, and then this one I also got in the clearance. Uh, Future Tense Paintings by Alex Gross, 2010 to 2014. Uh, and... I really like my intentions was since it was in the clearance I thought well that's got some really cool artwork in it I'll, I'll take that home and frame a few of those and then when I get the book and I've done this so many times before when I get the book it's like wow I really don't want to tear the pages out of it but see it's got some really cool artwork in it um, and I've seen this guy's art before, probably in Juxtapose magazine or High Fructose <coughs> magazine. But it, it's rather abstract. Like this one, these two here. But that's really cool and strange, to say the least. So, and it was on clearance. So let's set these over here. Um, in this one, they only had one copy of this left, and apparently there's going to be a volume two uh, that comes out. Mojo's Collector Series, uh, Echoes 1965 to 73, Pink Floyd. And it's, uh, it's actually a gatefold magazine. Pretty cool. That's the uh, Adam Hart Mother album cover there, and then the magazine slides out. And, uh, you know, it's the standard, you know, it goes through everything as far as the, all the albums and 
articles about that, you know, specific time period. You know, I get on kicks from time to time and currently on a classic rock kick, more so than usual. I mean, specifically Pink Floyd and Rolling Stones. Don't ask me why. Um, and then this magazine was, or magazine, this book was also in clearance, but at a different store. Uh, John Paul George and Ringo, The Definitive Illustration Chronicle of the Beatles, 1960 to 1970. And this was at Barnes & Noble, and it was only $9.99, I think. Was it $9.99? No. It was either $9.99 or $14.99. Anyway, it, it's worth it, because you can see, and it's a... It's a Day-by-day -day timeline, which I really like these books. They have an Elvis one like this. Um, but, you know, it goes into quite detail of what was going on. And, you know, it's it's very, uh, I mean, I could, this will be a lot of reading for me forever if I ever get through it. But if you guys are Beatles fans and you go to Barnes & Noble, hopefully you can get one of these. They had quite a few when I was there. So, on to the records. First things I want to show here, i got a few 45s. This is uh, Andy Griffith. What it was was football, part one on side one and part two on side two. And it's on, i got a Casablanca sleeve, but it's not Casablanca, it's Starline. But this song, or comedy bit rather, uh, I first heard on the Dr. Demento show back in the 70s, uh, and I can quote every word from it. Uh, and something I like to say all the time, just because I have stuff floating around in my head constantly, I say, um, he walked me on the back and he said, buddy, have a drink. And I said, I believe we'll have another big orange. That's what he says. That's one of the things he says, but if you haven't heard that, it's really funny. Uh, Spooky by Classics IV and... Uh, Poor people on the other side. Once again, another Casablanca sleeve. If I see these Casablanca sleeves, I grab them. So I can put my Kiss 45s in those if I don't already have them. Uh, the Cream with Sunshine of Your Love and S-W-L-A-B-R. I don't know how to pronounce that. But I thought that was a cool sleeve that I slid it in. Because a lot of these didn't have sleeves. Uh, and the Mugwumps, Bald-Headed Woman and Jug Band Music on Sidewalk Records. And I think the Mugwumps was, I could be wrong, but I think it was the members of Creedence Clearwater Revival before, before they were CCR. I might be wrong. I might be thinking of another band, but. On to the <clears throat> albums. I've been about to like lose my voice for the past week or so because my sinuses are draining. Um, I'm not going through puberty again, I hope. Uh, anyway, here's the albums. This one's quite worn, and it's got paint on it. Uh, the Ventures with the horse. And I actually didn't notice that it had this much paint on it when I picked it up, but, you know, it's, it gives it character. Uh, it has, um, this is on Liberty. Liberty, Liberty. I hate that commercial. Um. This has uh, Tiptoe Through the Tulips, Choo Choo Train, Licking Stick, Here Comes the Judge, Jumpin' Jack Flash, Land of a Thousand Dances. So, why would I not get that? It's, it's the Ventures. And then this one, I don't think I'd, yeah, I think I have seen this, because I think Cat has it. Linda Carter, Portrait. I didn't recognize the front cover, but I did recognize the back cover because I think this was uh, an actual poster in the 70s. I thought that said $2.99 in the 70s. Um, and I don't know how many albums that she made, but shes I guess she still records albums or has recorded some albums recently. This is Vangelis with Opera Sauvage. Uh, Vangelis was the one that did the Chariots of Fire soundtrack. Um, and he was also in a band that I really like. It was like a, a prog band from the 
seven early 70s i guess um called aphrodite's child which i think i showed that record on here once before um but yeah this is some good stuff it's uh it says harp by john anderson which i'm assuming that's the guy from yes uh pat buttram we was poor this is the guy that was on green acres mr haney i can do that really good with my voice about go but uh it's on ovation and i've never seen one of his records so i'm sure that's pretty good if i don't know if he does that character or if that's just his natural speaking voice but the original version of Journey to the Moon recorded live on Earth in space and on the moon. Narration by Victor J. Music, Music Sound of Genesis. So that was really cool. I seen that. I was like, yeah, I've got to have that for 99 cents. And it's on Buddha for crying out loud. So extra special reason to get it. I don't have, I mean, I have quite a few of uh, Buddha albums on 12 inch, but I have to just pose with it for a second. Okay. But I don't seem to show much of those, which is not a, not a, there's no reason. It just happens to be not in my current finds or whatever you call it. And I don't know what this is exactly, but. Uh, it has Space Rock, Empty Void, The Computer, Walk on the Moon, Journey to the Moon, Sea of Tranquility. It's just probably instrumental with some sound effects, I'm guessing. This one I picked up because I wasn't sure if I had it. Burt Reynolds, Ask Me What I Am. And I thought one of his records had a centerfold in it. This one does not. Did I show the back? Nothing there, really. Um, and I don't know anything about this record other than it came out in the 70s, 1973 to be exact. I thought it had like a poster or a, it's just a weird record because it opens here at the top. I'm assuming that there was another, because this is a perforated line, it must have folded down. Maybe it did have a poster with it or something. And I know Easter's over with, but I'll go ahead and show an Easter record. First Easter record. For children, Peter Cottontail, of course. So I'm a couple days late on that, but this has um, the title track. Also, Egbert the Easter Egg, which uh, Rosemary Clooney does this with the Percy Faith uh, Orchestra. Sonny the Bunny by um, Gene Autry. Uh, Bunny on the Rainbow, <clears throat> another Rosemary Clooney. Clooney. Uh, a couple more Gene Autry, a couple more Rosemary Clooney records or songs. So, it's on the Harmony label. Uh, this one I picked up once again because I didn't know if I had it. Grease 2. <clears throat> and I want to say I have the movie. I probably do. And this is a gatefold, just like the original Grease soundtrack. A lot of people don't like this movie compared to the first one. And I guess the first one is getting a reboot, I heard recently. It's on RSO. I always like that label. So, you know, they're rebooting everything. TV shows, movies. Can I show the back? Rydale High. And that has Michelle Pfeiffer in it, so... Um, and then this I used to have on 8-track, or maybe my dad had it on 8-track, I don't remember which. The Bluegrass Hall of Fame. It says it's a collector's item, but this is on Star Day Records. And I used to play this quite a bit. It says Gusto right there, the label. Star Day and Gusto must be the same label. But this has, um... All the songs on here are good. If you like bluegrass, you'd like this. If you don't already have it, of course. Um, My Girl's a Highborn Lady, Run Mountain, uh, Foggy Mountain Breakdown, Rank Strangers, 
uh, Beautiful Blue Eyes, Old Rattler, Tramp on the Street, um, as Grandpa Jones, String Bean, uh, Don and Reno and Smiley, uh, Stanley Brothers, Lester Flatt and Earl Scruggs. It says, From Nashville, Tennessee, the musical Heart of America. So yeah, this is a really good one. Might have to see if I can get some of those songs on my iPod if I don't already have them. I have a couple of those, maybe, but the Grandpa Jones old Rattler, old Rattler, I used to play that all the time. Uh, Lays of Jazz, the Jazz Sounds of Arthur Lyman. Somebody wrote their name here. Betty Wilson, from Middle, Middletown. And that's, I thought that was an unusual find. She wrote her name on the back, just in case. But I like these pictures of Arthur Lyman here. Those are really good. I see these kind of records, these Exotica records, and I just, or that's what I call them, Exotica records. I just, it, I don't know, it just transports me somewhere else. Uh, another Enoch Light in the Light Brigade, Play Cha-Chas, uh, Pertinent Percussion Cha-Chas. Haven't been finding a lot of these lately, because probably have if I see any of these at all, it's usually um, either Tommy Matola or Doc Severinsen. Those are the ones that you usually see now, or the ones that I've been seeing, if any. Because I guess everyone snatched up the other ones since it's been like a, a resurgence from the 90s all the way up till now. People want that stuff. And I also going to follow all this stuff up with uh, Southern Nights by Glenn Campbell. I got quite a few Glenn Campbell records, but this one I had never seen before, so it's like, I just assumed that this was on one of the records that I had, but it's on Capitol. And this one has the title track, which is a great song. I love that song. Um, and I don't think there's any other singles on here that I recognize. This came out in 1977. Rest in peace, Glenn Campbell. And that's all I have in this... Uh, vinyl cord thanks for watching subscribing i have a couple new subscribers i've noticed they i'll get a couple and then a couple will drop off so i don't know i don't know how that happens i mean i know how it happens but i don't know why it happens but i'm not complaining because i have more subscribers than i ever thought i would ever have in my life on this youtube thing <clears throat> and i have been doing a lot better about answering comments uh, I'll continue to do that. Uh, I've come, <clears throat> I've come up with a method. Uh, as soon as I get a comment, is when I reply to it. Then that way they don't build up and I don't get so overwhelmed. Uh, it seems to work out that way. So that's what I've been doing. If anyone cares, thanks for watching and subscribing. Please subscribe if you're not currently a subscriber. Um, been trying to make videos a little more regular, regular, like 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 like, and um. Keep shopping for vinyl because uh, we all need it. We need more. I guess the human condi human condition always wants more, uh, more or less, usually more. Um, seems like I'm forgetting to say something, but um, uh, check out my Cool and Strange Music Magazine fans page group on uh, on. Um, Facebook. We're on YouTube now. Um, also, my Hernando's Vinyl Hideaway Facebook page is uh, coincides with this channel. has the, all the posts and a few more uh, things that I'm listening to and whatnot. Thanks for watching again, and we'll see you in the next Vinyl Lapidata.